Oh snap. UPS about to pull up too. It's about to go down over here. Maybe not. I don't know. Ah, oh, snap. There we go. There we go. And FedEx is gone. Yep. Okay, then. Thanks, UPS man. Good looking out. All right. Here. Ah, there it is. All right. Let's do this. Yo, what's good, y'all? It's the trail and Whoo, man. I'm super hyped for this one because today we got the 15.6 inch Galaxy Book S. It literally just came out yesterday and it just came in the mail like two minutes ago so yeah i'm really at top of this one and we're gonna be going ahead unboxing this we're gonna be going ahead and unboxing the highest configured one i'm hoping that there's gonna be a higher configured one for the 13 inch version because that's what i really want i didn't want a 15.6 inch but that's what i had to get for now and i also got my 2019 notebook 9 pro and my galaxy book s to compare it to so oh man i'm i'm really excited for this one y'all so let's get into it All right, y'all, so as you can see, we're here at my boxing table. But I'm really hyped for this, okay? Because like I said, this is gonna be replacing my 2019 Notebook 9 Pro as my main editing machine and really just my main machine in general. Because I've been using this for like the last six months. You guys remember I did the unboxing on this thing? And yeah, that's not long at all for having a laptop and getting it replaced already, but still. This is going to be fun because this really supposed to be more of a replacement of the Notebook 9 Pen and not the Notebook 9 Pro. I think the Galaxy Book Ion is supposed to be the direct replacement for the 2019 Notebook 9 Pro. And yeah, they renamed their whole laptop series to the Galaxy Book and I actually like that to be honest with you because, well, when somebody says Galaxy or somebody brings up Galaxy, they already know what you're talking about. The Galaxy name is so familiar with everybody, so might as well, right? If I tell somebody that I got a Galaxy, they're going to automatically think, oh, you got Samsung. But then when I tell them about my notebook, they're going to be like, what, HP notebook, Samsung notebook, uh, Apple notebook? I don't know. So now I got my Galaxy Book Flex here in 15.6 inches. And like I said, I want to get the 13 inch, but they only have that in 8 gigs of RAM. So hopefully... They come out with more RAM eventually. But this is all I got for now. I will be unboxing the 13 inch too. But I've seen like pretty much all YouTubers so far only have the 13 inch. So I mean, I'm kind of glad I got this because well, I can show you the 15 inch. But this is what our box is going to look like. So let me show you something real quick. This right here is what we got with the 2019 Notebook 9 Pro box. So definitely feeling this a lot more. It looks more like the actual laptop with the Samsung logo on the side. You see here. And then this is what it's going to look like compared to the Galaxy Book S box, which is also a 13 inch. But yeah, so that's that. All right, man, let's just go and get up into this thing. So I got this thing from Best Buy. It ran me about 1500 bucks after taxes and everything. So yeah, this definitely ain't no cheap laptop by any means. I paid a lot of money for this thing, and I'm hoping it matches up to the price tag. You can get the 13 inch right now for $1349 at Best Buy and Samsung.com and Amazon and a lot of other websites. But we're going to be going unboxing the 15.6 inch one I got on Best Buy, the highest spec one. But yeah, so we got our Samsung logo right here. And actually, first off, let's go and take off this plastic wrapping real quick. <clears throat> yeah, that's how we do it. And I literally paid for the one day shipping because I ain't on no games, okay? But here we go. So we got our Samsung logo, as I already told y'all. We got all this plastic here. And it's a big box. It's a thick box, too. So I'm assuming we got a lot of stuff up in here. But let's go and look around this real quick. So Samsung logo here in that same shiny look that we usually get with the laptops. And let's look at the bottom and see what we got right here with my configuration. So we got Windows 10 Home for the OS. We got the 10th Gen Intel Core 7 processor. We got a 15.6 inch Full HD Touch QLED display. So yeah, we got QLED just like on their TV. We got 12 gigs of RAM and this one got 16 gigs of RAM. So that's really weird that we're downgrading on like a higher end laptop. I don't know what's up with that. Again, maybe they'll upgrade it later. I'm hoping so. We got a 512 gig SSD and then we got Royal Blue for the color. On the left side, we don't got nothing. At the top, we don't got nothing. And on the right side, we just got our Samsung logo with Intel inside. And at the back, we just got, well, that there's a battery in there. Okay, let's do this. Oh man, let's just go and get up into this thing. And there we go. So we got our Galaxy Book Flex. Let's just go ahead and throw that box here along the wall if it'll stay all right obviously that didn't work out but okay let's just go and get our this is okay this is a big thing and it got a little bit of a weight to it but it's not heavy at all like this is a nice little laptop right here all right let's just go ahead and get into our dryer sheet here you know i already have to say it and here we go for man that is cold but wow that blue looks nice man this whole thing looks nice oh my god he really called me while i'm doing a video but yeah man that blue really pops a lot more than i thought it would man i'm loving that color right here okay so yeah that's what it looks like right here so this in the 2019 notebook 9 pro 
it kind of looks similar so let me go and put these side by side here and you can see here with like the hinge and everything here like that's pretty similar look like the samsung logo got a little bit smaller and obviously the colors way different but just looking around here we can see that's not there as much as last year's but we still kind of have that diamond cut design here on the sides you can see more here of what i mean with the 2019 notebook 9 pro and obviously you can see that thing gets dirty quick and then with the galaxy book s we just really don't have that diamond cut design because well it's so slim as it is i don't really think there's room for that but yeah so that's what the book s and book flex look like side by side so that samsung logo on both of them is pretty small but let's just continue looking around this real quick so on the left side we have a headphone jack we have a regular regular USB-C port and then we have our micro SD card slot not really sure what this is for yet but I know this is our AKG speaker on the front not really nothing there except for some microphones right here in the top lid and on the right side we have another AKG speaker again not really sure what that's all about we got our power button that they kept on the side and then we got two Thunderbolt 3 ports and then our S Pen so they actually replaced the active pen in the notebook 9 pro for the S Pen that is something that i really like over that active pen not gonna lie to y'all like the s pen just works so much better for what i do but yeah it's just pretty much exactly like in the note series you just go ahead and put it in there it clicks in there and it's the same size as a note s pen let me go and get my note 9 real quick so yeah you're not gonna be doing any serious drawing or anything like that with these pens but i mean it's still there as an option as you can see right here yeah pretty much exactly the same size now i'm curious can we go ahead and insert this into our note 9 here let's go and try that out and this is also the one with the air commands and the gestures and all that so so far it kind of do but i'm not gonna risk that getting stuck in the phone let's try the note 9 so yeah that fits in there too again i'm not gonna risk that but it fits in there all right so that was that let's go and look on the back side real quick and again not really anything here except for our fans and everything and then on the back here you can see that we have our exhaust here for our fans we have some feet here so it don't slide all over the table and get scratched on the back and then we just got some info here about my laptop all right, let's go and look in the rest of the box real quick because we should have like a decent amount of stuff up in here. So one thing that sucks about our version in the US is that I heard in the Korean version, well, no, actually seen in the unboxings, that they get a mouse free with it and that they get a sleeve to put their laptop in. But in here, we just don't get none of that. Not even a sleeve that showed right underneath this because I can't take that out. But in here, we have our usual books and stuff. What we do with that? Well, well let me get it out first. But what we do with that? throw it to the side and then we get our micro sd card ejector and then in the rest of the box we have well a way better charger than last year's well for my 2019 notebook 9 pro anyways so obviously you can see here that's uh yeah that's uh that's kind of a big difference now this isn't going to be your galaxy book s charger because well that would just be insane but it's a good middle ground it's definitely a good middle ground but okay so in the rest of the box we have some s pen tips here to go ahead and replace it and then we have the tool to go ahead and take out the tips and the s pen and lastly we have a usb c to usb a port because it's only usb c so that's nice i didn't get that in my notebook 9 pro and it's a little bit bigger than in the galaxy phone series all right, so let's go and get to the thing that we actually came here for, that Galaxy Book Flex. So for right now, these are going to get moved over. But let's just go and get to this beast. So one cool thing about this that we're supposed to get on this is we're supposed to be able to charge our Galaxy Buds or our phone or whatever on the touchpad. So I'm excited for that. Let's go and do the one hand test. It's actually kind of hard to go ahead and just open it with one hand. I had to get a fingernail in there or something, but I don't got a fingernail, so... The one hand test here is not working out for me. Maybe we gotta break it in some more, but yeah, so that's what we got right there. We got this little thing here that goes on the screen that didn't come with the Notebook 9 Pro. And yeah, this thing is beautiful. It's just too big for me. And yeah, you can see the touchpad here is actually off to the left side here. And I don't like that on the 15 inch. On the 13 inch, it's not like that. But it's like that because it's supposed to be centered with the main keyboard and not these number pads in the side. But again, I don't like that. I would have rather just had it in the middle. But yeah, we got AKG over here. You can see the logo over there. And then we have some status lights. I'm pretty sure one of these is a light sensor for the keyboard because the keyboard actually has auto brightness. And if it's too bright in the room, it'll just turn off the brightness on the keyboard. But yeah, you can see that we got the keyboard right here. It all looks nice and everything. We still have that stupid FN lock button. And yeah, that's supposed to be there. But the thing is, that's stupid about this is they actually prioritize the FN buttons over here. So I don't like that. I would have rather had the media keys set as the actual default. So we get a nice big full keyboard right here. We get a touchpad, which is actually glass. And then we just got this full aluminum building. It feels nice. Like it feels really nice. And you can also see that we got our fingerprint scanner right here. That's supposed 
close to on the power button like on the older notebook 9 pro but that's it for the keyboard and everything let's go and look at the screen real quick and this is a two-in-one after all so we had to go and do that real quick but we do have our 720p camera here at the top we got a samsung logo which is actually kind of dim in most lighting to be honest with you so you won't see it all the time and then we got our qled screen here so it's not amoled or anything it's still an lcd but with qled it's supposed to look like an amoled screen so that's pretty nice and yeah you can see already that this thing get a lot of fingerprints but yeah this thing looks super nice and i love this color here so once this whole pandemic thing is over and we can actually go outside again you can go in your coffee shop and i bet you a lot of people's gonna be looking at that laptop and be like man that look nice maybe you'll even get some comments on it so once again let's go and do the one hand open test here and yeah it's just feeling it's not gonna work out but let's go and turn this thing on so i think how it works is we have to plug it in first and then we can turn it on because that's how it usually works with these galaxy books and notebooks and yeah it's not turning on so let's go and grab the charger real quick and by the way you can actually go and plug this charger into any port on the laptop but yeah you can see right there we have a green light and then our battery should be showing up in a minute so red light okay let's just wait for it and why aren't we getting anything usually okay so there we go i was just gonna say like usually it shows up right here but we got 31 percent, and now i should be able to unplug this thing but we got our samsung logo on the galaxy book s it actually said galaxy book s on here we just got samsung it doesn't say galaxy book flex or just galaxy book but yeah so here we go windows is getting ready and let's just go ahead and see how loud cortana is real quick so we're gonna crank up the volume real quick okay it's already up and let's just go ahead and hit on yes and now let's see how loud it is so here we go hi there i'm cortana hmm. and i'm here to help not gonna lie to you a little sign in here it sound, it kind of sound like so far that the galaxy book s is actually louder than this and that's a really slim laptop okay so i'm gonna go and set this thing up and i'll get back to y'all all right looks like we're in so it says almost there and there we go so we got the same background here as our galaxy book I, oh wait no hold on a minute it's actually pulling my background for my galaxy book guys let me go and change that real quick so this is the one that comes with the galaxy book flex and there we go so it looks pretty much like the ones that we get on the note 10 and let me go and do some real quick so we'll go to the windows explorer settings local drive windows and that's the only wallpaper that we get on here so i'll go and leave a link down below if you want this wallpaper but yeah so that's our galaxy book flex and something i noticed like almost immediately that we have a lot of surface area here for that fingerprint reader so i really like that but now let's go and try that wireless power share because you know we got to and actually oh wait that's how we do it okay so to turn on wireless power share you have to go ahead and tap on this button right here f11 or go and turn on fn lock and then do it f11 and it's actually telling me right now that it has to be charged over 30 percent to share power so i think if we just plug it in then we should be able to turn it on like on the galaxy phones okay so let's go and try this and it says right there ready to charge okay so let's go and do that then and right away wow why is the fan so loud we're gonna go ahead and try using my galaxy watch and no you can't use a touchpad while you're charging stuff but let's go and try something real quick so is the galaxy watch charging okay it is so i can't charge my galaxy watch with this so okay that's nice so now let me go and try out my galaxy z flip right here and it should be charging in a minute there we go so it's charging let's go and try my note 9 here and again there we go now it should be charging okay maybe not okay that's weird okay there we go now it's charging and no this isn't the best placement for something to charge your stuff on but it's still nice and if you want to go and use the touchpad again you got to go and turn off the wireless power share by tapping that button again but okay so for the record the keyboard does feel pretty good but let's go and listen to some chucky beats real quick and let's see how it sounds on here because that's one thing that really matters to me now let's go and fast forward here and hmm yeah i'm not gonna lie to you like the galaxy book s actually sounds louder than this now this does sound way better like miles better than the 2019 notebook 9 pro but the galaxy book s just has more bass and everything i think it's louder like let me go and grab it real quick and you already know about how slim and light and everything it is and even at that it's a 13 inch it's not a 15 inch so we don't have as much room to work with all right yeah this already feel weirder using the 13 inch <laughs> Yeah, 
I knew I wasn't going crazy. Like, like I said, this has way more bass in. I think it's a little bit louder than the Galaxy Book Flex. And look at that, my Galaxy Watch is telling me to wash my hands again. I'll do a video on this app soon. It's by Samsung. With the whole coronavirus thing, they're trying to get you to wash your hands and you can install the app if you want. But yeah, so that's really crazy and kind of disappointing because I thought these right here, the speakers I hear is actually going to be way louder and more bass and everything than this Galaxy Book is. But apparently, it's not. So this is just side by side with the Book Flex and the Book S. And yeah, like not gonna lie to y'all, I really like the design on the Book Flex better. And this is what the keyboards look like. So just typing on them, the Galaxy Book Flex feels way better than the Galaxy Book S. I like the touch pads like just equally as much and I think they're both glass. And also I like better what they did here with the fingerprint scanner being on the power button. And also I like that the FM button is right here. So you can go ahead and tap on that and then just turn it on and off. As opposed to the FN lock being up here instead of like being in here embedded in this button. Now obviously we're talking about two completely different architectures. So like we're talking about an uh, Intel Core 7 and then a Snapdragon 8TX. And this is going to have way more power and way more compatibility than this Galaxy Book S. But the Galaxy Book S is still really nice. And even right here I can see right here with these bezels. These are slimmer, as opposed to the Book S with this little chin here at the top. And then we're talking about QLED versus a regular LCD. No wireless power sharing the touchpad for the Book S. And then the camera looks better on your Book S versus the Book Flex for your zoom calls. We got the one USB-C port and the two Thunderbolt 3s versus just two USB-C ports out here. And yeah, that's pretty much all I got for the Book S. Now as for the Notebook Night Pro from 2019, that's what these are both going to look like. So not going to lie to you, I kind of like the keyboard better on the Notebook Night Pro. And as for the touchpads... Um, I think I kind of like the Galaxy Book Flex better. Even though the Notebook 9 Pro does have a great touchpad with the Windows Precision drivers. And this is actually going to run you 1300 bucks. And on the Galaxy Book Flex, the 13-inch version, that's going to be 1350 So it's only 50 bucks more for the Galaxy Book Flex. I would just get that. We got the LCD again versus a QLED, and they're both 1080p. Speakers are going to be better on here, even though it's not going to be Galaxy Book S territory. Way better charger, as I pointed out already. And then there's no wireless power share for the touchpad right here on the Notebook 9. Pro. And as you can see right here, like, man, those are way slimmer bezels on the Galaxy Book Flex. Like, around here, it's more pretty much the same, but at the bottom, you can really see the difference. So, yeah, that's gonna be pretty much it for me, y'all. So, I'm gonna be upgrading my Notebook 9 Pro, which was my main editing machine, to my Galaxy Book Flex. I'll get the 15 inch version, and this whole video will be edited on the Galaxy Book Flex. I'll do some gameplays and everything, of course, like I did with this last year, uh, like with Fortnite and everything like that. But that's gonna be pretty much it for me, y'all. So, thanks for watching. If you liked this video, go and give this video a like. And if you really liked it, go and subscribe. But go and follow me on my social media, Eddie Santec. You can find me on Instagram and Twitter. You can also find me on Facebook, but Instagram and Twitter is where I'm most active. But yeah, so what do you think about the Notebook 9 Pro? Let me know in the comments below. Do you think you'll get one or will you get one? I'll leave a link down below if you want to go and buy one. But yeah, y'all, so that's pretty much it for me. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one and peace out. Alright guys, so I wanted to go ahead and update y'all on a couple things. So for one, yes, you can use the pen that comes with your Note or your Galaxy Tab. I'll show you right now. So this is my Note 9 this pen and then I'll go and grab my Tab S6. Also, you can see that still works. The S Pen is also still inside the laptop. And then you can also use the Galaxy Book S Pen with your phone or your Galaxy Tab or whatever. And then you see when you pull it out, that's what she said, that you get all these options right here. Second thing, I turned on this black video right here and you can see right there, in my eyes, I can't really see the difference between QLED and LCD. Like from my understanding, when you're looking at something black, you're supposed to look at it like real black as if the screen was soft or something. Like that's my understanding of what QLED is. But yeah, so far I can see right here, that's not really the case. Again, I could be wrong, so don't go coming at me. But that's what I see so far. Not really a difference between this and QLED. All right, y'all, that was it for me. Peace out.